everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I haven't had my channel for very long, but this is the very first time that you are seeing me full-fledged Lainey. I do have to get adjusted to being on this side of the camera, but let's just go ahead and get started. This video is a little bit about getting to know me and a haul, so you kind of know what to expect in some future videos. And like I mentioned in a couple videos ago, I will link it down below. I mentioned that I live tiny and I travel all over the United States. We made this in the video. I have a new channel coming out probably in the spring called The Nomadic Housewives. So you'll see a lot of behind the scenes in the day to day of my life. Um, but I did want to mention that these hooks were from Harbor Freight. I didn't know at the time of the recording. They're from Harbor Freight, but I do want to mention that I recently saw a pack of these at Target uh, for $5 and they're gold and they were beautiful. Obviously I can't get them because I already have clips. It would be unnecessary, but I, they're nice clips and they're where the um, stationery and things are in Target, if you're curious. So just wanted to point that out. And some things to mention and to expect in the next video. We'll go over that first. So recently purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It's their spring shop edition. They're kind of just putting stuff out for spring right now. It was $4.99 acrylic wood sign, but it was 40% off. And obviously it's not clear right now because it's got the protective sheets on it. But I want to create a, aff a positive affirmation for this and obviously to have it in my craft room. I can get really down on myself and I need something positive. So this is to come in the next video. I'll just, let's just set it on the floor. <laughs> and also recently purchased this flocked iron on from Hobby Lobby. I have this in white in the same brand, the 405 Basics, but I purchased it in pink because I have this shirt here, once more from Hobby Lobby, and I love this shirt. It is so soft. Um, I recently found or saw a sweatshirt with puff vinyl, and it said Weekends Coffee and Baseball, and I immediately thought um, Weekends Coffee and Crafting. So we're going to use a little bit of flopped pink iron-on for this shirt. And I'm super excited because I've already worn this shirt a couple of times and washed it. And it is, like I said, it is super, super soft. In addition, I've had this for a little while, but it's January. So I can actually wear it more outside. We keep the house pretty chilly. So I definitely want to add some vinyl to this. I think I'm going to do the white flopped on this one. But I need to hurry up because I cook in it a lot and it's starting to get stained up. So before it gets too bad, I want to put something to, you know, make it my own. And so that is to come as well because it is sweater weather time. And let's see here. Oh, this recently came in the mail. I asked for it for Christmas for my mother-in-law. This is the We Are Crafters line and they have this color here with the white and teal, and they also have it in a lavender and a pink. I was comparing this with a Sissix mini die cutting machine, and I went with this one for a couple of reasons. Betha Dilly has it. I've seen it, her use it multiple times on her channel, so I know that it is, it's worth the buy because she's using it, and I can kind of see how it works. And also, the reviews on Amazon were all really good. And thirdly, it matches all my other We Are tools. So this is going to be coming to the channel shortly. The best thing about this is it's not heavy. It's manageable to store and move around. And I love it that it suctions to the glass mat that I have right here. Something that is just really bothered, something that really bothers me, I guess, um, maybe it's laziness, but like this die cutting machine here, although it is very necessary to have you know, this large size, it's very heavy and bulky to move around. And behind the camera, or kind of more to the right side of the camera, is my desk. I've got the pegboards on the wall. I've got baskets hanging on the wall. I have a large L-shaped desk. And so I come over here and get my, pick out some of my stuff and move it across. And this little thing is just so much more manageable. And while we're on the topic of smaller machines, 
I recently got the new Joy Extra, and I love this thing. I didn't think that I needed it because I have the maker that's behind it, and I also have a Silhouette Cameo, and I love this machine because I, even though I have a large desk, a workspace, I have so much more space using something small, obviously, but it's lightweight, manageable, and I can have it on my desk and show you that I'm actually using the machine while I'm crafting. So a huge focal point of the channel moving forward is definitely going to incorporate the Joy Extra and all the things that you can do with it, especially for new users. So look out for that if you're seeing this video for the first time and you just got one of these machines and you're kind of lost. I got your back. I'm going to hear I'm here to help you. I've got lots of tutorials and things on its way. So let me move this. Something that I purchased from Hobby Lobby a little while ago but just kind of brought it out to start playing with it are these sublimation blanks and they're four glass clear glass coffee mugs obviously. But if you've been contemplating this or you have them and you haven't quite used them yet, it's very hard to see the de the design. I use infusible ink for this in whatever this color is, mint, which I purchased on sale from Walmart. I did test it out on the little tester cloths that they provide. So it's not the color. There's nothing wrong with this mint infusible ink. It's just a glass and it's, you know, just very light. So keep that in mind if you have these already and you're, you know, just lost on what you want to do with them or if you've been contemplating them because it's not going to appear like a white ceramic mug. Obvious, yes, it's obvious, but sometimes you just are like, oh my gosh, it's a blank, I have to have it. And this is what happened to me. Also, for those who do a little stamping, dabble in card making or scrapbooking, things like that. Dollar Tree recently came out with sentiment stamps. I do have other stamps from Dollar Tree. They work pretty well. And for a dollar and a quarter, a full sheet of sentiments, I had to stamp them out a couple of times. I tested them. I recorded it as a short, so that'll be coming to the channel shortly. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, really pleasantly surprised and happy about this. So we've got the thank you sentiments and the happy and hello. And this one has welcome just because you are sweet. Congrats, love and hugs, just little things like that. And so it's got the, the larger, thicker stamps and then the smaller like substance sub sentiment stamps so just wanted to share that for those who are interested in this kind of medium and oh so we got a new machine which means I had to get a few new products okay so I have these baskets here like I said they're on the wall um, around my desk and these came in a three pack, the smaller ones, and I also have three larger ones that I'll show you here in a moment. So I need to create some labels for the basket. And I also have these from Target. It's a six pack for a dollar. I bought two. They come in clear and cream. I saw these on um, Ashley's channel. It's a Grace Co. I'll do my best to link it down below. But she purchased these a couple of weeks ago and made a video with them. And so I went to Target looking for them. They didn't have them. Had to go back to Target a couple times. This Target here in this area that we're currently in was a little slow getting kind of readjusted after Christmas and New Year's, but finally have them. They're a great price, six for a dollar. So labeling to come, labeling my baskets, and we're going to be bringing some pins to the channel with the Cricut Maker. I also have some Cricut Joy pins in the mail for some cards to make for the upcoming a holiday Valentine's. I also have some um, insert cards for the Cricut Joy along with the mat, which is still brand new, but I was dabbling with this a little last night. I'm really excited to bring some cards, Cricut cards to the channel. 
I also, for the first time, definitely a little late on this bandwagon, the writable vinyl. And this is for the Joy, but it will work with the Joy Extra just using the Joy Extra mat. Um, this is really nice material. And I have some spice jars that I've had in a box just kind of waiting for me to figure out what kind of labeling I want to do with them. But I'm not using them for spices. I'm actually going to use them for vitamins that we store in our pantry just to give it a, a better look aesthetically. And obviously, you know, something for me to craft with. So I think I'm going to use this paper to label the vitamins, what vitamin it is, milligram, and expiration. So stay tuned for that. They're really, they're really cute jars. They're glass jars, squared shape, and the lid is round, and it's kind of like a, a natural faux wood lid, if, if faux wood is, faux is a thing, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, I also purchased these from Hobby Lobby. It is the printable iron on. I have it in the white and the dark. It's $6.99. If you have been looking into this, I just want to note that the white comes with five and the dark comes with three for the same price. My husband was saying that it's probably more expensive for the dark ink, but I'd want five. I didn't want three. I wanted five, but this is how they are packaged. This is how they are sold. So if you haven't come across this yet, or if you purchased both and didn't realize, five in the white, three in the dark, and you're paying the same price. So, let's go ahead and put those back. And we've got this larger basket here. Or I do. I have this larger basket here that I wanted to show you. Once again, you know, going to have to make some labels for these baskets. Even though this is vinyl, I want this to be a little more specific. But I have one large basket like this that holds rolls. And this one obviously holds sheets. And I wanted to share how I store a lot of my vinyl scraps in addition to the sheets. I have these thick cardstock holders. And when I order sheets, like the tech wrap sheets, the variety pack that I have loved, and, it, and as well as um, the iron on, the glitter iron on pack, this is how I store them. And I have taken some of them. You know, some of them came as a roll, and I've unrolled them if it's a 12 by 12 sheet, and I put them in here, and I've been using this for a few months, this method, and I love it. So I also use this for cardstock as well, and like I said, I do use it for some of my scraps. So I just wanted to give you this idea because we all have different spaces and some things that work for some doesn't work for others and this is really working for me so I wanted to share this with you guys. For me in a, when it comes in a roll it's just not easy, as easy to manage it just kind of drives me bonkers because you know it's it's rolling up. I have the glass mat with the magnet so I have to use that to cut it and everything. Um, this is a lot, the sheets are a lot more user friendly and just super quick, especially with the maker. I just put the entire 12 by sheet, 12 by 12 sheet on the mat and get it cut and it's done. So little help here and oh, um, something else. If you have, you know, if you're collecting paper, if you're kind of a paper crafter, um, or thinking about dabbling into it. This is something that is working for me at the time being because I am growing my paper collection. And I say growing, I I really like Concord and Ninth. I have a lot of different paper packs that I've purchased from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. And I really love the, the weight of um, the Concord and Ninth. So if you're contemplating on this paper, what I recommend is to do what I did. I ordered their pack. It's one, it's, how do I say this? One sheet of all 48 colors. So I ordered that. It came in. I've been playing with it, pulling, pulling certain colors. And as I use that color, I order more. And so I waited until I needed to order 
a few, and this actually just came in this morning, and I've been really gravitating towards these four colors. So now I ordered them in the pack, and it comes with 12 in each pack. And so we've got Ballet Slipper, Dragon Fruit, which is a beautiful magenta. That's one of my favorite colors, as well as this powder. I love this powder. And then the Midnight, which is a navy. So I feel like that's the best way to kind of get started with their paper, see if you like it, and then see what colors you're really using and order as you go. I'm storing them in this cardboard folders that fit in the Ikea bookshelves here. And I purchased these because they're cardboard and I can, they're substantial enough, but I can also break them down and store them somewhere else if this isn't working for me. So I know you can purchase acrylic ones, but they are a little more bulky and heavy and we do have to pay attention to the weight in the fifth wheel that we live in. It's a um, 45 foot fifth wheel toy hauler. This is the toy hauler part. So, you know, weight distribution is important and just overall weight itself. So there's certain things that I buy that I'm a little more weight conscientious of, but also this is really good because I can break it down and move it if it's not working. Excuse the motorcycles just roaring by. Goodness sakes. So I also have these that I store my finished cards in. But I've been using some of them for paper scraps. And this is all my Concord and Ninth paper scraps. And I'm just keeping them in here. And also keeping them in this area so it's all together and organized. So I can go through this first see what I need, and then I can look at the sheet here and pick out my colors if I'd like. This also came in this morning. It is their little ink cube labels for their mini cubes. I'm not going to use them for the mini cubes. I only have three, um, but that's not why I'm going to be not going to be using them because I, I do tend on growing that collection. I want to find some acrylic dividers for the paper and label the dividers with this because some of the colors I end up getting confused. Like I made a snowman card a few weeks ago for Christmas and I thought I was using Harbor, but I was actually using powder. And luckily I caught it before I ordered it because the powder is the one that I'm just in love with. You know, like this one right here, I just showed you. But just some ideas storage wise and yeah, I'll try to link it down below. And it fits eight and a half by 11. And it just goes in my little cube storage, just like so. Okay, so it's still Valentine's. It's your crafting for Valentine's is really gonna come up. I've already posted two. But I have a few things that I wanna show you that I'm going to bring to the channel. But just to kind of give you an idea ahead of time, because I'm not quite sure when I'm going to release the Valentine's basket gift things. So I have my craft cart here and this apple obviously came from Dollar Tree. I know you've seen this many, many times. I painted it pink with chalk paint because I didn't have a red, but I just got, I just bought another red, um, a red and another shade of pink and chalk paint from Walmart. But anyways, this is going to be a teacher gift inspiration craft for you guys. Like I said, I painted it pink. The Dollar Tree also has these little wooden cutout stickers. And this one has the heart. And I'm just going to super glue it to this. And then add some vinyl to it. Add some candy in here. And I also want to create with the Cricut Joy Extra a gift card folder that is kind of Valentine's Day themed. And this will be, you know, just a little teacher inspirational gift for you guys. So I'm going to set it here for now. And for your significant other or your teenage kids, what have you, they, the Dollar Tree has little things like this that are great for stocking stuffers, but also for a little Valentine's Day gift. You don't always have to go out and get the most expensive things or candy. So even though we are, we are going to get some candy for this Valentine's Day, but this suede bag, it would be perfect to fill up, you know, add a sentiment on the bag, fill it up with some goodies, and they could 
the person could store this in their vehicle or their purse. Like I said, just little things like this are great for on the go. So I purchased the Dove lotion here. This is in pink, the beauty cream for face and body. And then I also purchased one for the men. And they also have, where's the other one? Here it is. Okay. They also have these mini manicure sets with a case, a blue and a pink. I'm going to personalize these and I'm basically going to put a basket together, a small little basket, if you will, for my husband and personalize it so he can keep it in his truck. And like I said, for your teenagers, if they just started driving, stuff like this is really, really good for them to have in their vehicle. So I also found, which I'm going to label it, I think I'm going to put little glasses on it because he's, he's 51, so his near vision is becoming impaired. It's just part of aging. The eyes can't be perfect forever. But this is a little magnifying glass uh, with a light. So I'm going to personalize this for him and put this in his basket for his vehicle because he sometimes just doesn't have his readers on him. So another little gift and this privacy pouch I found discreet, discreetly holds your feminine products. This is a perfect blank. I actually bought this for a friend of mine. Her daughter just turned 16 and she has her first car and this is perfect for her console. So when I was purchasing this stuff, I was really thinking about what I would need at 16 and things that I didn't think about. But as an adult, it's, you know, it's like a dug kind of go to. But we're going to bring this out as well for Valentine's and make it personalized. But I just wanted to kind of show you where my head was at. Um, two other things. The headband for washing your face. It's super soft and I love the stripes with the mint and the white. And this is going to be for uh, Samaya as well. The, the new 16 year old that's on the road right now. Dollar Tree also has these first aid kits. And this is perfect for a vehicle. Perfect for a little Valentine's Day gift because it's necessary. You need it. So it does have a little... Um, text on it says focus on the good but if you have this in your console and something happened and you were trying to get someone else to get the band-aids out because you I don't know you had a blistered and you can't walk anymore um, that's happened to me um, we'll put some kind of first aid text on here so if someone else is looking for it they know what it is so yeah hopefully this stuff is helpful for you guys something else I purchased from Target when I found the little clip-on labels they have tons of storage things right now storage containers they have the felt ones and a ton of these plastic ones this is a gray background the other one is a cream I guess they kind of match the clips um, definitely gonna put some vinyl on here because I can and just wanted to share this with you guys because they're stackable and they have different sizes this is a dollar they've got other ones for three dollars as well and if you're looking for nice acrylic or plastic um, organizational things, that's definitely a place where you can go and find these inexpensive and make it work for your space. Okay, let me put all this back up. Oh, something else that I found from Dollar Tree, this 15-piece rose wooden cutouts. And they're, you know, the natural wood, the pink, and the red. They're really, really pretty. You can find this stuff at Hobby Lobby as well, and it's about the same price because all Hobby Lobby stuff is 40% off. So it kind of comes out to the same as a dollar and a quarter. But just wanted to share that Dollar Tree has some really cute things as well as Hobby Lobby, like right now. Okay, let me move all of this stuff aside. Okay, just a couple more things. Also found this round at Dollar Tree. They do show the metal but you know just get some kind of um you make a bow if you want and you know hide hide that but i thought that this was really neat a really good addition to the dollar tree i have yet to see these so wanted to share if you're on the same same boat as i am and this is something that i'm going to do 
for my husband's co-workers and I'll, I'll apply some vinyl to this on the channel. I'm going to make cookies for my husband and he is not thrilled about this. Um, he's like, make cookies? Great. Do I have to take them from that? Yeah. Please? So I'm going to like sweet treats for you or something that he can take on Valentine's Day, but I'm going to share this along with the other things that I've shown you. And I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, Stay tuned for future content. Now you kind of know where my head's at. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Kind of seeing a little bit of my space. And I would love it. It means the world to me if you subscribe. Um, a room tour is coming shortly. There's just a couple things that I want to update in here. And it is just fixing some paint. Um, my other channels are going to be coming out in spring, so I do need to kind of go through the house and touch up some areas just so I can feel a little more uh, confident about sharing my space. These are black curtains hanging from the ceiling to the floor, and I've got some more, or one other, um, Ikea dresser drawer storage in our printer. We've got a dog bed that my husband built and we've got a refrigerator over here that has like the ice and the water dispenser. I will show you all of that in a future room tour video just because I know that many of you are curious. And with that said, I'm going to link my personal Instagram down below because that is where I will post more about, or that is actually, that's, I post my life, but that is going to be my nomadic housewife Instagram. So I will link that down below if you want to kind of see behind the scenes of my life, you know, myself, my husband, the fur babies, and, you know, our house and the places that we travel. Uh, I used to post a lot and I kind of stopped for some personal reasons, but I've got con I've got pictures. I am so blessed that I get to see so many beautiful places and I will definitely start to share those again but you just go on there and look through it and I know that you'll enjoy it um lots of my friends and family enjoy it just because they they get to see things that they wouldn't otherwise see and I also am doing this other channel and sharing my personal Instagram is because I want to encourage you to create your own bucket list life is very short we're not guaranteed to live you know, to our older ages, a lot of people tell us that we're living a retired life. And the reality is some of us don't get to that, that, that time. So that's one of the reasons why I quit my job. We got rid of our belongings, sold 90% of our stuff in garage sale. And that's why I live like this. It's because life is so short. My husband was always gone and I had this beautiful big home and a pool and no one to share it with. I thought all the materialistic things that you fill your home with would bring me joy, and it just, it didn't. So, kind of getting emotional about it. I've lived this way for four years. I know it's not for everybody, but it's just to show you a different way of life, to show you how I appreciate the smaller things in life, and yeah, I'm just super blessed. So, I'm getting sappy. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.